Welcome to our first video about Kaui, the Kill Bill Admin UI. Kaui provides an intuitive interface for administrators and product managers to configure the system and handle any customer support inquiries. What we want to show in this first video is what happens after you have installed the system, both Kill Bill Server and Kaui, and you are now facing the first login screen. For information, we have directly linked from our website a series of user guides and we highly encourage you to take a look at the Getting Started Guide and the various manuals which will allow you to get familiar with the main abstractions. We're going to use the default Super Admin user configured in Killbill and Kaui to login. The username is admin and the password is password and of course such default credentials can be changed. This default user has been configured with all the rights, which is quite convenient when bootstrapping. After you have logged in the first time, you will be prompted to create a new tenant. Tenants are used to have multiple logical instances of Kill Bill on a given deployment. On your production system, they can be used to cleanly separate production traffic with test traffic or configure multiple regions on different tenants in a disaster recovery use case. They can also be used to support several independent lines of business. When creating a new tenant, one is prompted to enter a name and a unique API key secret pair that is used in all HTTP requests to ensure on the server side that the user issuing the request has indeed the rights to access the tenant. Let's assume we have a streaming video business and want to sell subscriptions. At this point, you will be redirected to the tenant configuration screen. The first section shows some information about the tenant such as its name and unique ID that was generated on the server side. The next section shows which users have access to the tenant. It should be no surprise to see our default admin user in this list. The last section shows a series of configuration tabs that we will briefly review. The catalog tab allows you to manage all the products plans and rules specific to your business. The overview or dunning tab allows you to configure the rules and actions that the system should take when customers don't pay their bills. The invoice template tab, as its name indicates, allows you to upload a template that the system will use when rendering HTML invoices. If you have an international presence, the next two tabs allow you to upload string translations, which are activated based on each user account locale. The last tab is used to configure each of your plugins differently for each tenant. For example, in the scenario where you have both a test and a production tenant, a payment plugin connecting to a gateway would be configured with different set of credentials in URL to hit either the production instance or the sandbox. I hope you have found this first video about Kaui useful. Don't hesitate to join our mailing list and ask any questions. And of course, check our channel for more videos.